soft water and hard water. That is what we are going to learn in standard eight. Standard eight, hard water and soft water. We, are, we shall discuss the methods of, of softening water in this class. We will discuss, we will define soft water. We will find out what is the meaning of soft water, what the meaning of hard water, what the difference between hard water and soft water. Then we shall discuss the methods of softening hard water. We will discuss the methods of softening hard water. So learners, by the end of the topic water, you should be able to uh, distinguish between hard water and soft water, then you should be able to, to explain or discuss the methods that can be used in softening hard water. So learners, yes, as we had learned early in standard seven, we say that water is a common solvent. That's what we learned. We are building from what we learned. We say that water is a common solvent. Water is a common solvent, which, which learners is used in our homes for various tasks. Okay, for example, we use water as a solvent when washing our clothes. And this water that we use in our homes can be obtained from various sources, such as wells, rivers, boreholes, lakes, ponds, or water that falls in form of rain, rainfall. Okay, can also get water in form of rainfall. Is that clear, learners? Uh, let me repeat, I'm saying water is a common solvent which is used in our homes to carry out various tasks. And this is an example of washing off of our clothes. This water, I've said, can be obtained from various sources such as rivers, wells, um, boreholes, lakes, ponds, and rainfall. Okay? Now, learners, 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 water, water, uh, water can also be obtained from the ocean. Those of you who live near the oceans, you can also go to the ocean and draw water from the ocean. Okay? The Indian Ocean. Here in Kenya, we have access to the Indian Ocean. So learners, again, I need to say it is very important or it is, um, uh, let me say it is, it is sometimes very difficult to find water in its pure natural state. It is very difficult. Let me write that sentence down. It is is very difficult to get water in its pure natural state. Getting pure water in 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 its uh, natural state, pure natural state is not easy. And again, I want to explain why. I want to tell you why it's not easy to get water in its natural, pure natural state. Now, learners, this is because, this is because many solids and gases, okay, are usually dissolved in water. This is because, this is because 
many solids and gases are usually dissolved in water. So on one hand we are saying it is not easy or it is very difficult to get water in its pure natural state. What is the reason? The reason is, the reason is that uh, many solids and gases get dissolved in water. And I'm going to explain how, how solids and gases get dissolved in water, thereby losing the pure natural state of water. The pure natural state of water is, cannot, is lost because of these many solids and gases that get dissolved in water. Now, for example, learners, and this example we gave in our previous classes when we are talking about pollution of water. We say that when, when, when industries emit gases in the air, okay, when they release, industries and factories release gases in the air, gases like carbon, dioxide, gases like sulfur dioxide as waste in form of gases. That gas is released in the atmosphere. Okay? Now, when rain descends, when rain descends, when it rains, the gas in the atmosphere that is the carbon dioxide and the sulfur dioxide get dissolved in that water, the rain, okay? That is found in the atmosphere, the gas that is found in the atmosphere that was released by uh, factories and industries, okay? When it gets dissolved in rain water, then you see learners, Gases are poisonous. Uh, those, these gases are poisonous substances. They are harmful substances. So they get dissolved into the rain. So thereby losing the pure natural state of water. That water that comes down may be pure. But when it is dissolved, okay, with some of these gases, all right, when, 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 when rain water flows on the ground, okay? Before it falls on the ground, you see it has already been dissolved by harmful gases, thereby losing its pure natural state. That is one way in which the gases get dissolved in rain water, right? And that's why we are saying it is very difficult to get water in its pure natural state. That is one way. Now, learners, how about the solids? Now, learners, when rainwater, when rainwater flows on the ground, it seeps through the soil and the rocks and dissolves some of the mineral salts that are found in the soil. All right? You see, the, the rainwater... The gases were dissolved in rainwater while still in the air, all right? Then when that rain hits the ground, when the rainwater flows on the ground, okay, the, the, the mineral salts that are within the ground, they also dissolve in the water. Because remember you said water is a common solvent. So that is another way in which, in which solids, the solids are in form of, uh, the, the, the mineral salts are in form of uh, solids. So the, the solids get dissolved in water. 
Now, learners have explained, have explained how solids and gases get dissolved in water. Okay, I've explained how solids and gases get dissolved in water. I've explained the gases I've said is through the atmosphere. After passing through, after the rainwater passes through the atmosphere, it dissolves gases. And, and also through the soil and the rocks. Okay, when water hits the ground, it um, seeps the mineral salts that are found in, in, the, in the soil and in the rocks. Now, learners, 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 after passing through the atmosphere and through the soil and the rocks, the resulting water may either be hard or soft. The resulting uh, water may either be hard or soft. May either be hard or soft. Let me write that sentence. Very important. After passing through the atmosphere. After passing through the atmosphere. After the rainwater passes through the atmosphere and uh, gets, uh, the gases get dissolved in that water and also through the soil and the rocks and through the soil and rocks, that water goes to, to the ground and seeps in the minerals, minerals Mineral salts that are in the ground are seeped into the water. Now, as I've said, the resulting water, the resulting water, the resulting water, the resulting water, learners, may either be, may either be, may either be hard. Or soft may either be hard or soft hard or soft now learners how do you distinguish hard water and soft water now learners the water that contains large amounts of dissolved minerals is referred to as hard water okay the water that contains large amount of dissolved mineral salt. The water that contains large amount of mineral water is called hard water is referred to as hard water is referred to as blue hard my blue water hard water okay now the water that contains little, the water that contains little or no dissolved mineral salts is referred to as soft water. The water, the water that contains little or no dissolved mineral salts is called blue 
is called soft water soft water so that's learners the meaning of hard water and the meaning of soft water soft and hard so learners the resulting water the resulting water after passing through the atmosphere and the soil and rocks the resulting water may either be may either be may either be hard or soft so lanas the water that contains large amounts of mineral uh mineral salts these are mineral salts not water but mineral salts the water that contains large amounts of mineral salts is referred to as hard water on the other hand the water that contains little or no dissolved mineral salts is called soft water so lanas this means that it's possible it's possible for the rain water to descend and fail to get dissolved with gases like uh, sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide especially where there is no air pollution if the rain descends and there is no gas to dissolve in that rain water and uh, the rain hits the ground and there are no mineral salts in the ground then you will have pure soft water if that happens then you will have soft water you will have water what we call here water in its pure natural state you will have water in its pure natural state but remember we said that it is very what very difficult to get water in its pure natural state that means is is not easy in our modern day to have rain descend without dissolving with gases because lanas we are living in a world that is highly industrialized there are many gases that are released in the atmosphere every second it's called air pollution our atmosphere is highly polluted our our soil the ground is also highly polluted so that's why there is a statement we wrote here it is very difficult <laughs>